PlayStation 5, PlayStation Mobile, PlayStation Vita 2, PlayStation name changes? What the heck is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Monkey Flop here, and welcome back to the channel. We've been doing things a little bit differently, and well, instead of making one-off videos, I decided to compile all of the news and talk about it in one video. I hope you guys do watch until the end. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure to hit a like and hashtag flop in the comment section below. Be pretty cool to see flop go on all of my videos. Um, just you guys spamming flop in the comment section. I think it'd be pretty hilarious, uh, especially to those that just randomly come to my channel. What the heck is everybody saying flop for? <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it because Sony has been sending out survey emails regarding the future of PlayStation. Well, actually, I take that back. Regarding the future of PlayStation is not actually the survey, um, but they did send out a survey and they wanted to get uh, consumers feedback as to how they use their PlayStation 4 and what they use it for. And a lot of people are speculating that it's because they want more information from consumers um, so that way they can design the next mobile, whatever it's going to be called, uh, the next PlayStation mobile, whether it be PlayStation VR 2 or whether they have a PlayStation 5 integration with a uh, mobile device as well. And well, as of right now, this is just rumor and speculation. So take it with a grain of salt. Take it as you would anything else. Um, I'm sure... There is going to be, um, you know, something coming out of this. But as of right now, we don't have any more information on PlayStation 5. We don't have any more information about a PlayStation Mobile uh, gaming device. Uh, so um, I hope nobody get their panties in a wad about this. I've seen a lot of news outlets talking about it. And well, it, even though I'm excited to see what the future of PlayStation holds and I want a PlayStation 5 um, two years from now at least, <laughs> don't give it to me right now. I'm still enjoying my PlayStation 4. Everybody in the comments like, yeah, me too. <laughs> we spent money on it. Come on. Anyways, um, so that's it for that. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that we still don't know when the actual heck we're going to get PlayStation name changes. Um, it's still in currently in beta and well uh playstation has not rolled it out yet a lot of people have been eager to see the playstation name changes come uh, to fruition and well it's still not here and we do not have anything on this whatsoever uh, but next up we have some good news if you got a playstation vita there is a new firmware update 3.70 first uh, one of my awesome subscribers tweeted at me, Yo, Monkey Flop, there is a new firmware update for the PlayStation Vita. And I'm like, what? What? Okay, cool. Just it goes to show you that in 2019, the PlayStation Vita is still alive. Well, that's a good thing. To be completely honest with you, we may not be getting any new titles anytime soon. But uh, the fact that Sony is still supporting its console is amazing. Um, the reason why they did the update, though, is to stop the homebrew community uh, working their magic. And, well, the homebrew community and, you know, hacking into the PlayStation Vita can cause a whole bunch of mess and a whole bunch of problems for Sony. Not only um, are people getting free games by, you know, hacking their PlayStation Vita, they're also hacking the trophies and things like that. So um, as long as the PlayStation Network is still alive on the PlayStation Vita, I'm sure we're still going to get updates. And the updates are probably going to be around, you know, uh, people trying to hack into the PlayStation Vita and take advantage Next up, I actually wanted to talk about EA reportedly cancels an open world Star Wars game. Now, last night I was playing and one of my friends was like, yo, did you hear that Star Wars was canceled? And I'm like, what, what do you mean? Star Wars was ca EA canned Star Wars. So I was like, what, 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 wow, what the heck? And it turns out to be the open world game has been canceled and you know we i'm not going to get into too much uh details but basically ea shut down um a games um you know developer and now instead of doing an open world which was in early development it wasn't even like you know um 
a thing that you can actually play it was still in very early development um now ea is looking into uh, actually developing another star wars game and respawn entertainment is actually developing jedi fallen order um so that's pretty cool to say the least next up we got nba 2k license deal is actually going to be extended for another seven years and it's going to be a 1.1 billion dollar contract wow and this was actually reported by wall street journal so it's a cred credible source a lot of people were actually wondering what is exactly is going on with nba 2k and um well it's nothing's going on it's going nowhere and it's going to keep going and keep trucking on um so that is actually good news for all of us here in um related nerd news uh spider-man far from home first trailer actually dropped yesterday and i pooped my pants a little bit so i felt like i had the need to share that information with you <laughs> if you guys are excited about spider-man uh far from home let me know in those comments down below but i definitely am when i saw this i was like holy cow yes please um and really quickly i did want to touch on a story that that actually broke the other day and that is the orange shirt kid um, mom sues Epic Games over Fortnite Orange Justice Dance. Now, I personally have not played Fortnite in quite some time, but I know some of you guys do as well. And there's a current trend with um, these people that create or make up these dances going after Fortnite and trying to get some money out of them. Um, of course, you know, they're a big corporation. There's going to be people always trying to um, come at you one way or another. But... The funny and odd thing about this was that the orange kid, uh, the orange shirt kid was actually, uh, he submitted the dance to be in the game. Um, Fortnite had a competition for a new dance to be featured by somebody in the community. He submitted the dance. So, uh, mom, uh, the mom of orange shirt kid i'm not sure exactly what is going on with your brain but i'm sure it had a couple of brain farts <laughs> next up in um well actually this is not as new of news but i did want to touch on it because a lot of people wanted to get my opinion on bungie split with activision and a lot of people are concerned about oh man what's gonna happen with destiny 2 is there gonna be a destiny 3 um, and I would say, you know, hold, hold, hold the phone. Okay. We, we are not completely sure, but Bungie, um, was, you know, Bungie's been around for a long time. They created Halo. They used to be with Microsoft. They split from Microsoft and then they jumped ship and went to Activision. Now Activision and them have split. So are they going to find a new publisher? Are they going to find a, a, you know, a big umbrella to, to go under? I'm not completely sure, but what I do know is Bungie has been supporting Destiny 2, and it looks like even though things may be complicated in that aspect, uh, Bungie's actually excited to, you know, get back and um, focus more on Destiny 2. It looks like they are actually concerned about what the players want and uh, the hardcore fan base, which is awesome. It is amazing to hear because you know i am a destiny player i love playing destiny whether you love or you hate destiny um you know if you're a hardcore if you're a hardcore destiny fan you're probably going to be playing it to this day um if not you're probably going to get back into it sometime soon um so in my opinion uh bungees probably get nothing to worry about um you know they might go under somebody else's umbrella what i mean by that is um you know find another publisher bungie's known for just being a developing company um so um you know like the likes of activision activision was there to support and help advertise uh bungie's games um now that they've split you know that that just means that they're they're not going to be um helping finance destiny 2 and um you know <laughs> i'm not sure how much um residuals actually left from the game because um you know destiny 2 left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths when it came to loot and that's basically all they can make 
money off of now. Um, Destiny 2 was free on PlayStation Plus, and now um, Destiny 2 comes with Forsaken for 60 bucks, which a lot of people aren't even going to be investing into these days. And um, then the question comes: Is there going to be a Destiny 3? And well. As of right now, there's nothing in development. Um, there is rumor that Bungie's actually developing a different game as we speak. Um, but, you know, we never know. Destiny has always been a very ambitious game. A game where, you know, your imagination can run wild. And at the same time, it is so big of a game that I feel that, that Bungie didn't hit the mark completely um, with all of the ideas that they've had and everything even currently in the game. Um, I'm sure if they do a Destiny 3, um, they would focus more on what the hardcore players would want as opposed to you know just casual people bringing people into the game. And then that would make a much, a much bigger and better robust experience if they do decide to go with Destiny 3. But I'd love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions about that and everything else we covered in today's video. If you guys do appreciate me, hashtag flop in the comment section below. Um, but give me your awesome honest opinions as well um, remember like self out tremendously if you guys are new hit that subscribe button bell notification we are gonna keep the gaming news coming your way i see you i appreciate you and i'll see you guys in the next news update you guys are freaking awesome